Today I'm going to teach you a special technique for adding up columns. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a column of numbers. It'll be two digit numbers, 10 deep. I'll put it on the screen. What you're going to do, you're going to add these numbers up, not from the right, but from the left. You're going to go straight down the left column, get a total, then go over to the right side, come straight down that column, get a second total, and put those numbers together for your final answer. This way you'll be able to see the numbers as they come out in a natural order from the left. And then what you'll be able to do is just get a total which you can actually see because you put the numbers together. This is good in case you were able, say you were on the street and you saw a couple numbers you wanted to add up real fast. You don't have to worry about you know carrying a number over or holding a number of memory and that's not going to be a real number. This way this is a more natural system because your brain actually sees things from the left to the right and not that way around. So the number we're going to be using, I will put on the screen, and this is what I want you to work with. Okay, starting from the bottom going up to the top, you have 64, 91, 72, 52, 98, 89, 42, 81, 37, and 18. And what you're going to do, you're going to look at the number on the left and add those numbers together coming from the top and it's the 1 not the 8 of 18 so it's 1 and it's 3 and it's 8 4 8 9 5 7 9 and 6 and that equals 60 on the the right side you're going to start from the 8 and then come down so it's it's going to be 8 and 7 and 1 and 2 and 9 and 8 and 2 and 2 and 1 and 4 and that's 44 so obviously if you have a 60 which you can hold them you say for example you can hold it you remember and you say uh, 60 is like cheese based on our our system we did with the finet code so you have that number in your head and you place it somewhere in memory and then you have a 44 which is rower but because you have a zero you know you just put the numbers together in a natural order so it's going to be 644 and that's the answer. Now when you practice that, you want to maybe start with smaller numbers. You could have just did maybe a, an 18 and a 37 and an 81, whatever. But the point is, you want to do this to your own comfort, take a couple of days, practice this here, see if you can actually test yourself to see if you can actually write down the column of numbers and then do what I did, do it mentally, get the answer, and then test it out with a calculator or, or do, do it you know, with a, a pen and pad, and then see if it works. Okay, it's a great skill and it's something you can add to your arsenal of mental abilities. So until next time, you have a great day. See you later.